go there. And they're going to be going against... They're going against the NWA On Fire Tag Team Champions, the Dream Team, Juicy Justin, and the Show Stealer, and Chris Stealer. The Dream Team, the ever-popular Tag Team Champions from NWA On Fire. And I tell you what, people love them coast to coast. Oh, absolutely. This is a non-title matchup, but even in a non-title matchup, I think the Dream Team's always got to be on their toes. Absolutely, and I tell you what, the men and men couldn't have picked the more formidable opponents <laughs> the champions. Yeah. I mean, they're starting off with the very best. Yeah, absolutely. Well, why not? If you can get it, why not? Absolutely. I mean, if you can do it. They love the fans, and the fans love them, don't they, here at NWA on fire? It looks that way. Miniman just looking around saying, whoa, <laughs> they don't even want to stay in the ring. <laughs> I don't blame them. There he is, the show stealer, Chris Steeler. And Justin Carino. They waited a long time for those belts. They Absolutely. finally got them. Absolutely. Well, they deserve her, in my opinion. They've worked harder. Oh, look at Steeler. He's looking <laughs> at himself in the mirror. <laughs> oh, they're bent out of shape. Minutemen are not happy about that. They want their mirror back. They want their mirror back. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, no. <laughs> Just give it a little spit shine there. Get going here, boys. 418 pounds. Terrific Tommy. Delicious Devin. The Minutemen. Tommy and Devin. <laughs> you notice they got pink under their eyes, too. Absolutely. Look at this. With these pink tights. Boy, I tell you. Pink must be a very popular color. Team NWA on fire tag team champions. They won those belts a couple months back from the Latin Hit Squad. Oh yeah, in my opinion, one of the toughest tag team in professional wrestling. Yep, the Latin Hit Squad. I mean, well, the Dream Team's been ducking nobody. They've been giving tag team title shots to anyone who's worthy. So far, so far, and so far they have they have those belts, don't they? They have those belts. So, all right, referee rings the bell. I think it's Delicious Devin in the ring right now. <laughs> he, ducks, he ducks out of the way and he makes believe he just did the biggest move he ever did. Look, he's got that he's, a, he's, more the, he's more of the rotund of the two, shall I we say. say. Yeah. <laughs> he hasn't missed too many meals. Look at Steele just glaring at him. What are you doing, boy? <laughs> he picks up the mirror. Look at the other one picking up the mirror, looking at himself. I'm sorry. <laughs> Nobody's that vain. I'm sorry, but I just don't have words to describe it. <laughs> I just don't. I'm flabbergasted. Gets Devin in that side headlock now. Oh, hammerlock now, reversing it. Steeler now reversing it on him now. He's got that hammerlock. Oh, uh, hit Steeler with a man. big elbow to his ear. Now he's got uh, Steeler in that side headlock. Pushes him off. And comes back. Big uh, big shoulder block now. He loves him. Oh, he trips <laughs> him up. Oh. He's flat on his face. <laughs> and then brings him over. Nice arm drag. Chris Steeler get it, tell him to get up. Bringing that arm. Looks like Justin wants to have a little fun now. All right, here comes Carino. Double team effort now from the Dream Team. Oh, Off the ropes. Into double, a double, double elbow. Double clothesline. Down he goes. <laughs> and over to his partner he goes. <laughs> Looks like he's doing a little crying there on his, on his tights. And that's the only thing I'm going to say about that. <laughs> You're not going farther with that. No, right? no, no. I decided not I to. I thought you might, but I guess you're not. <laughs> because the other Minutemen. Crowd solidly behind the Dream Team, as they always are here they always in, are. in NWA sure. on they're fire. Well they're well like tag team. Wastelock now from behind. Minutemen, oh, on the back. On uh, the back. Oh, into the corner. Hard he goes. Marino says, where are you going, boy? <laughs> Looks like he's trying to get over his, to his partner to make a tag. Across the ring he goes. Oh, oh, right into a big elbow by Carino. Down goes half of the minute, man. And he's trying to say, just wait a minute here. But <laughs> Carino ain't having it. Wow. Twisting that arm now. Just ringing it. Say, do you want me to hit it? Yeah, why not? And no, oh, he brings him over by it. Wow. What power. Still got that arm ringing. You can see the pain that uh, the Minuteman is in. And then drops all his weight with that knee onto that exposed arm. Down he goes. With that knee is right, T. Pushing it to the shoulder once again. Oh, into the shoulder that time with that knee. 
There's his partner. His partner doesn't look like he's too quick to get in that ring, does he? Yeah, he sure does. Here comes Chris Steeler off that top rope. Ooh, onto that shoulder. That's not going to help things much. Trying to get back to his corner for a second, but no, Steeler cuts him off. What's he going to do with him now? Tries to reverse it now. The Minutemen now ringing the arm of Chris Steeler. Whoa, use the top rope to flip himself over. And then, whoa, puts it on oh! the Minutemen. Wow. And then drops that leg onto that arm and el uh, shoulder again. Two. Only a two count, though. They tag out. Here comes Carino again. Carino now off the second rope. Wow. Into the lower back. Boy, oh boy. These guys are giving him a real welcome to NWA, aren't they? <laughs> well, the sign on the marquee out said did say pro wrestling, didn't it? It certainly did. Chops him in hard. Into the corner now. Look at those high kicks from Justin. Over oh, and over again boy, with that oh leg. Boy. Over and over again. Not giving him any anything here. So far, Minutemen haven't had much of an offense. Going to try to flip him out of the corner. Yeah, no, he, no, he got out of it. But Justin comes back with a leg, with that leg, kicked him really hard in the gut. Big chop. Sends him to the rope. What's he going to do now? Oh, there was a tag there. Reversal. Now it's a double team. The Minutemen flip him oh, over. Nicely boy, done. Oh, that was well done. And then here comes the other Minutemen. High five. No, wrong guys. Wrong. That's not the legal guy. Legal guys trying to, the illegal guys trying to make the tag. I mean, trying to make the pin, I They're should say. a little say. mixed up. I think so. I got a little mixed up there, They're too. a little mixed up. Ow, with that leg down to the middle rope. Oof, choking him. Here comes Steeler. Steeler, get out of there. You're not helping your, your, your partner any. That Minutemen made a good move, and they blew it in the end. They certainly did. They're coming back, though. They're taking all the wind out of Justin, Justin Carino's sails here. Into the corner now. What are they going to do with him? Oh, big boot under the chin. Choking him with that boot. You know, that Minuteman is kind of real ton. Look at this. There's the skinnier one now going to work on him. Big shot to the gut now. Come on, Steeler. You're not helping your man by keeping that referee in the corner. Doesn't realize it, though, I guess. Then the Minuteman taking him out. What are they going to do with him? Off the rope. Yep. Double team effort again. And, wow, drop toe hold, both of them. Double, gonna... double drop toe hold. And now, oh, exposed. Oh, wow. Kick right to the side of his head. Very nice tag team wrestling by the Minutemen. Oh, yeah. That's how you become champions, by doing things like that. Well, One, sure two. Do. Steeler in to break up that <laughs> that count very quickly. He wants in the worst way. He sure did. Now he's just pressing that leg into the chin and neck area of Justin Carino, trying to choke him again. Well, you know better to get a, come up with that second wind in a hurry. It was the boot, though, but no. Minutemen, I tell you, they're definitely holding their own here. I tell you what, they started out slow, but it's starting to impress me. In comes the larger of the two. Kick to the side, kick to the kidney area, I believe. The much larger of the two. <laughs> you, you tell them that. Going for a chokehold, it looks like there. Front face lock. Uh, that looks like a chokehold to me, though, personally. Ref but checking I, it out. Got to get in there and check that out. Well, that's a legal hold, he's saying. not making him break it. Look at, look at on the outside, his tag team partner, Steeler, wants in so bad. Oh, he does. He sure does. Look at Karina walk the rope. Oh! Right into that clothesline. That's not going to help you. Steeler reaching over, trying to make that tag, but he's too far away. Whoa! Well, there's, a, there's a shot for him just to keep him occupied, I guess. They make him think about it. Look at him. He's crawling over. He could have almost made a tag there, but because he... Steel is not Walter on the ring rope. Ring. Come on, Rep, you got to take charge here. Double team effort now from both of the Minutemen. Oh, chop. Here comes Steeler. He wants in now. The ref saying, no, what, why not? There's two guys in the ring. Why not? Look at this. Look at this. They get a Texas Tornado match. I won't mind. <laughs> right now with the Minutemen with that front face lock. Oh, no. He got him in almost an abdominal stretch of some sort there. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Carino struggling to get out of it. Wish to be good corner. Back to the corner, but wrong, it's the wrong corner one. though. <laughs> the wrong one. And that was the fresh man to get in. Scoop and a slam down. Just the Carino's been there for about the last five or six minutes. He I'm very desperately surprised that they're holding their own against the champions. I tell you that right now. Desperately needs to get out and make that tag. 
Up on a top rope. And no! No one there! That's a bad landing he just had. This is what Justin Carino needed. He needs to get over and make that tag. He's going for the wrong corner, though. Right. Trying to get his way over to, to tag his partner, Chris Steeler. And there's a tag, there and there's is. a tag. Two freshmen in the ring. Meets the clothesline. Steeler now this. on the other minute, man. Meets no, no. an elbow. He's working a both over. Wow, cleaning house. Oh, big side kick. Very nicely done. Misses the clothesline and then meets the foot of Steeler. And then, whoa, modified DDT. Still look around saying, who wants it next? Missing that clothesline, that punch. And, whoa, doesn't miss the punch of his own. Close fist there. Wow. Boy, oh, boy. Oh, into the arms of, uh, oh, no. Oh. oh Going for the cover. One, two, and three. That's, That's it. it. That is it. Wow. Boy, it took a while for the dream team to get warmed up, but when they did, they really steamrolled through that one, didn't they? You got that right, Tommy Savoldi. Wow. Hard-earned victory here with the dream team against the Minutemen, but wow. What a match, though, huh? What a match is right. And there they are. Wait a minute. Who's this? Who's just getting in the ring? Wait a second. They're attacking the dream team. Wait, with a chair? Whoa, chair. That's the hunt. Wait a second. Who's that? That's the Hoods. You're kidding me. Where did they come from? Whoa, you're right. It is the Hoods. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, stuff pile driver. Unbelievable. You're right, Tommy Savoldi. That is the Hoods. That's the Hoods. I know them anywhere. They've been gone from NWA on fire for about a good 10 months. Well, it looks like they're not gone now. Wow. They're back, and they're making a statement here. Oh, my goodness. They just leveled the tag team champions, the dream team, Steeler and Carino. Oh, got them they flat on their back. And they're lifting those belts like saying these should be ours. Well, they were definitely in tag team uh, competition. They were, they, in my opinion, they were favored to win the belt the last time they were here. But, wow, they've been gone for quite some time. But they're, I guess they're back in the race now for them. Well, when they left on that Asian tour, they were very big with NWA on fire. They were in contention for the belts. Yeah. They were, they were knocking off opponents left and right. Yeah, well... They've never, they've never met the Dream Team, but I guess that's in their plans now, and I guess they want to make a statement, and they certainly made a statement tonight. Well, they're telling people right now, you see these belts, they're going to be ours soon, but I don't know. Look at this. They just dropped them belts with the stain on their faces for the champions. Well, you know, anyone can attack someone from behind with a chair. Absolutely. Let's see how you do when you got to meet them face-to-face -face in that ring, which I think is going to happen. Speaking of controversy, fans, you saw at the top of the show how Bobby Robinson was stripped of the NWA On Fire Heavyweight title. Right now we're going to take you to selected highlights of the Battle Royal that was held to fill that vacated title. Fans, words cannot do this justice. You've got to see this for yourself. Take a look. Oh, look at this! What the he turned on the He turned on and threw him out the ring! Oh, God. boy, oh, boy! I don't believe that. Tommy, my mouth, my mouth is open here. My jaw dropped. Well, there it is. Looks like they're going to... What's this? Whoa! There's a, he's with a... Well, I was going to mention it. Oh! Brian Fury just came in with a bat! Yes. And now he's pinning him. What's going on? Well, I'll tell you what's going on here. Whoa, what's this? Look at this. And he is a certified... He is a certified referee. DC you know that. No! One, two... How could this happen? Wait a second. I tell you, I was going to mention it What before. happened? Wait a second. Fury did not go over the top rope when what? he went out. He went through the middle rope. Are you sure? The rules are over the top rope. He went. I was going to mention it, but I figured let me hold my tongue. I did. I wanted to see what was going to happen, and that's what happened. Wait. Brian Fury went out through the middle rope. Through the middle rope, and that still made him eligible but to wait get a second. back in that ring. Wait a second. How is DC Dillinger a referee? He is a qualified referee. He's fair. He went. He went, and he took what he had to take, and he became a so qualified referee. So he's a certified referee. referee here. Absolutely. So Apollo gets screwed over again. Absolutely. He no. gets screwed over again.